or waiting for Mike. CP manifests. He may not. I mean, it is eight forty nine. Hey, hey, howdy, hey, how you doing? Doing okay. I, I, I think I'm about to get the crap kicked out of me, but um, we got battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. There you go. That looked like fun. <laughs> so, 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 uh, so we fly in this bay, and they just want to wish me happy birthday, and we just yeah, that's that's all that's, these guys want to do, right? Yeah, that's all that's that's what they want to do. Yeah, that's what you're looking at, right? Oh, okay, how, so how there's you... a skull on one of them. I think that's a pirate ship. Okay. Yeah, you get hailed. Yeah. All right. So we so we come in and we and we get hailed. Um, yes, immediately. And um. Jimmy comes on the line in uh, his aristocratic tone. Um, howdy, fellas. Uh, evening. They say uh, it's garbled. So it kind of sounds like this. Uh, prepare for your ships to be scanned. Um, okay. Um and we have to wait an hour before we can jump. <laughs> right. And They're saying hour... they want to scan your ship. Um, we're... And greetings, hello, and who are you? And they uh, are... Uh, well, uh, and they're, they're messing with the communication. It's going off and on for a little bit. And then finally, they kind of, uh, they kind of kick in. And then they, um, I said, oh, I, I, okay, how, how rude of us. We're so sorry. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're pirates and we're robbing you. I'm sorry that uh, we didn't let you know that ahead of time. Uh, 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 in the two ships, you see us four. And uh, there's XBO, there's Tess. I'm Hans. And, uh, of course, we have Gunther with the itchy finger. Well, hey, Hans, great to meet you. We already got a pirate, though. You know, his name's Pepper. And Pepper says, hey, all. <laughs> He's a brilliant. And um, we're really not interested in being raided right now. And we really don't have anything on the ship worth of value. This is just an experimental run. So we're going to have to politely decline the offer. Oh, okay. So you might not have anything on the ship, but what about the ship itself? Again, we're just going to have to politely decline. Um, but, you know, if we had, oh, but we do know where there is something of great value that we can send you the coordinates to. There's a long pause. What of great value? Um, well, we, we, we ran across this purple planet, um, there was this derelict ship, and there was this amazing artifact in there that, um, well, I don't know. It's a nice way of putting this, but um, it was able to uh, butcher every human being on that on that um, on that. You're more than welcome to have it. We left it there, just sitting there. There's like this uh, long pause for a second, and they said, "Send over an image." I we 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 sent over the image that we took of the little orb thing. Did you take an image? You didn't take an image. Oh no, we no we we had no we we just described it to him what what it looked like. Um, it was a little round ball. It had um. A lot of shiny objects on it. It was sitting in the captain's quarters. Yeah, they, they, they say we have no evidence that this thing even exists. So, um, yeah, well, 
you have our word for it. Um, but beyond that, are you going to um, silver tongue this guy? What are you planning on doing? Here? Yeah, I'm going to try to silver tongue the guy. Uh, that's my aristocratic uh, nature there. Let's see. Um, they just got to make a save. Yeah, he's got a charm person. Oh, and he can charm him for one hour. That's all I I really need. All okay. right. So I'm going to uh, try to silver tongue this guy and basically explain to him that. Which um, one you trying to silver tongue? Um, the leader Hans, and okay. I'm going to basically explain to him that you know this is an experimental vessel that everything's locked down, and there's we're made just making these jumps for these parsecs. Okay. And um, you don't want to come on board because uh, it's gonna just gonna go. This the, the ship's right. gonna blow. He's got to beat a thirteen. The saving throw is right. a thirteen. All right. Oh, he failed. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, he's failed this thing. Yeah. So uh yeah, he's uh he's he's listening to your story. Yeah, and I, I and I keep talking and I'm just gonna keep talking to him for as long as I possibly can. Okay. Um so Hans, how long have you been out here? And you have two ships? You're a pirate with two ships. That is amazing. Well, uh, yeah, we yeah, we've been flying out this way for quite some time. Uh usually it's derelict ships we look for. So we just kind of rummage through so we can pick up. Well, yeah, it's well, kind Hans, of Hans. Let me send you the coordinates of this ship. Now, again, I just want to warn you: we didn't take anything off of it. There looked like there were some items in there that were, but I have no are you, idea. Are you ex-military? Yes, I am, Hans. How'd you how'd you know? It used to be. I think I've seen you before. Oh, or would I have seen you before? Have you heard of the the Battle of Bryn Beta? The Battle of Bryn Beta. That was that penal colony they fired upon. That one? Yeah. Um, I had this XO. Between you and me, the guy was just a real turd. And um, <laughs> he wanted me to fire on a company Marines that were down there trying to settle that. And I wouldn't do it. So um, one of the, the second in command. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. You're supposed there to were, fire on a company of Marines. There was a battle. There was some Marines that they were on ours. They were down there trying to settle it. And this nutsack wanted me to fire on our own men. And I refused to do it. So I got dishonorably discharged. They let no, that me wasn't. Keep... I'm sorry. That was a platoon X-23, was it? That oh, yeah. Supposed to fire sure, it sure was. I'm from X-23. Oh, my God. Is that... No, I'm... we got back out of that. I heard about what was supposed to happen. I dropped out right after that. I said, if you guys are going to shoot on your old men, I'm out of here. But I heard it was stopped by someone. I didn't know that was you. Oh, the, yeah. Well, they they let me keep my life, and they let me keep a blaster, but they put me off on the la on the next planet. I got no commission. <sighs> I got no nothing. So now um, I, I can... I thought about piracy. I really did. And right. um, and as I tried it, and Pep said, I talked him into it. Um, well, he was, again, <laughs> Brimley was trying to give me, but, you know, a buddy of mine, Otis, and Otis comes online. He sees this big wolf and AI, you know, they're, okay, right. <laughs> oh, Otis back. Um, <laughs> but I, you know, I didn't have the crew to pull it off. And so we're just kind of, we're just picking up these small runs. I got this odd job, and I, I, I swear to you, you you don't want this ship right now. We got to make a couple more jumps. If this thing, though, once they work out the kinks of this thing, you may want some this ship after they work out the bugs. But I'm telling you right now, there's something fishy going on here, and there's lots of bugs to this to this drive. Well, I, you know, I hate to say this, but it's kind of there's a two suits came up to me. Oh. Yeah, and, and they said that I was supposed to wait here for the arrival of a ship. <sighs> and that was mine for the taking. And I was supposed to dismantle it. Hans, I'm telling you, they somebody planted a bomb on this ship. I had I had six commandos that we that we had to kill. Pepper starts showing the fingers on the thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off the fingers so we can identify them later. I don't know what the hell's going on with this. Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. See, I got a, I got a, I, I got a job I have to do. You know well, how it is. You got to pay the bills. I, I am supposed to. Uh, 
Take how care. much? Now we could do one of two things. We could just how much do they two offer ways. you, Hans? What what, what 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 were they paying you to do this? Well, I don't like to discuss business with you know those that I could get. You know, you can't really go against what's been said, and you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Things, I, yeah, things are kind of messy here and there, and you this conversation is going on and on. You're like at the hour mark now. You're still having yeah. this conversation with this yeah, guy. Where, you, where, you get. You gotta understand, like I, I know it's kind of weird because I know you kind of had a big event with me actually being here right now. But same with my mom. But you know, eventually, you know, she had I, well, to move on. Maybe you do yeah. too. I'm, I, I'm saying, really but Mom's, I need to get the ship. I need to rip it apart, and I need to get the parts now. I, hey, I just full, re yeah. full, full, full respect for you right now. Um, just um. If you don't mind, just let me get my crew, tidy my crew. You can have the ship, and then you could put us off to the next planet. Just hold on one second, all right? Well, hold I don't know if you should. I, I, we can come to a compromise. You could just join us. You don't have to leave. Oh, Hans. Yeah, tell you what. Let me, let me, let me check in with the rest of them, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, hold on. All right, all right. Sure. Have a nice talk. Let's. Yeah. You know, these are okay. these are options. You yeah. Hey, that, did you? Hans. Right. Love it. All right. Okay. All right. Be, 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 be right back. Sure. Um, as soon as I get off the comms, I tell Pep, make the next jump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Screw with this, are you? Yeah. All right. Uh, sure enough, uh, you go for the next jump. Yeah. And uh, boom. Nice. Okay. You come out of the jump. All right. All right. Uh, near a large ring planet. Okay. Has a solitary moon floating around it. The scene is completely awe inspiring. Everything seems very quiet, almost a little too quiet. Oh, that's better than having Hans and Franz trying to tear me apart. Um, all right. Um, so it's very, very quiet. Okay. Well, we're, well, we're going to send out a scan of the area if there's any ships. Roll. All right. I got a three. It doesn't seem like you detected any. All right. Um. Well, now the scary thing is if Hans was at our jump number eight, they may know where we're jumping to. Damn. But though, but it's, it's going to take them a while to get there because we have this experimental drive. Um. We're just going to wait out the hour and then okay. um, try to make a, the other jump. All right. Here we go. Ready? Jump number 10. Okay. Jump number 10. All right. So you wait out the hour. Jump yep. number 10. Oh, we just did jump 10. We did jump 10. Jump 11. There you go. Oh, jump 11. Oh, okay. Well, this... uh, you come out of the jump in the middle of empty space. Uh, a medium transport is just drifting by. It seems dead. No signs of life or power. Oh, God, another one of these. Um... You want to try scan it? Yeah, we're going to try scanning it. All right, give it a scan. What do you roll? I rolled a one. That is... Uh, it's dead inside. You can't not picking up anything. I mean, right. You probably could scan something from the outside to get to an airlock to check things out. It's up to you. Yeah. All we got is one more jump, though. One more jump, and we could get to sector twelve. Um. I feel bad that we're not doing too much adventure stuff. Um. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to keep our distance from this medium transport, but keep our guns on it <laughs> just in case it does anything. But there's no scan. Well, yeah, we well, we we, we couldn't hear anything. We, we we don't have a good scan. It's not sending out any distress signal, right? Uh-uh. It's just floating there. It is. All right, we're going to mark its location just like we did the other one. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait the hour. I'm going to cock All up right. the crew. Here it comes. Jump number 12, the last one. Wait. Oh. No, I don't know. Okay, something else might happen. 
Uh, Jimmy Otis and just Jimmy and Otis notice like twinkling of lights approaching your ship from the ship. From 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 that ship. Yeah, to your ship. Oh, like an like an escape pod. Uh, no, too small for it's just obviously a, a little blip of light and then it goes away, and then a little blip of light and then it goes away, and it's like if you were to see it, it's um. It seems to be coming like towards the ship. Okay. Little blip of light goes away. Little blip of light goes away. Oh, damn. Um, can we try to um sense what it is? Can we read do, like a, a scan? Like, is there like a is it like a ship coming towards us? Uh, you hear it... a zit sound. Oh, somebody landed on the outside. No, it sounded like something burning the shield of the ship. Burning the shields of the ship. Like something got burned in the shield. That's electronic field. Here's a oh. zit. All right. All oh. of a sudden, you sort of see something in the window. Okay. Of the ship. Um, on the window. Like something floating in space. Let's see if this looks right. Oh, that's the cargo ship you're avoiding, right? Hold on a second. See something uh, that kind of looks like this on the window of the ship. Oh, crap. And then it sort of disappears as soon as it was there. Like it's infested with some sort of, we got some alien bug thing. All right. Um, and it's on our ship. And Well, it was on the windshield of the ship. And now it's, uh, let's see something for a second. I don't want to ruin your fun. Um, It's and now up. it's inside the cockpit right here. Holy crap. Um it's, it's, not, like, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. No. It's it's, a, it's an it's an it's an alien being that yes. alien thing that has co come in. Um is it it's and actually it's it's trying to actually eat the electronic stuff on the back of your council, like the wires and stuff. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, can we shut down all the power of the ship? Uh, yeah. We're going to shut it all down. Right. Um, of course. Yeah. You can do that. Okay. We're going to shut it all down. Um, Do we have any, what is on this ship that produces the most electricity? This thing eats electricity. Um, um, do we have? The hyper jump drive. Yeah, I know, but we need the hyper jump drive to make the last jump. Um, we uh, need something like, um, Can we hook up these? Th th these things have these amazing beds, right? These amazing, um, yeah, beds. Yeah, we're going to um, immediately roll one of the beds to the back of the um, ship. Okay. Um, we're going to jerry rig like a battery to it. I know okay. I got to do. I got to do a jerry rig roll, and then sure. we're going to try to push that bed with the juice all on it out into space okay so you dead the whole ship yeah okay all right so you shut everything down so it's a hole yeah. right yeah okay. and so you're out here and you're wiring this thing up yeah we're going to try wiring up one of the beds that um that, that we're going to take the bed out of the room that has all the dead bodies in it um <laughs> okay and we're, we're, it's probably this one let's just think jay and They're all going, Jay. What am I saying? We'll take this one. Okay, all right. Yeah, cool. and then we're going to. Uh, um, I guess I I got to do a jerry rig roll. Um, yeah. With hope to um, put some sort of lights or we want this yes. thing to have a lot of juice on it. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know how this is going to be. A tech I mean, roll. between you and the brimbling, I mean, hope and yeah. the brimbling, they should be able to wire this thing. What is yeah. her? What's your chance of doing this? I gotta go back and look at that. But uh, well, I rolled uh, a 
I rolled a five. I don't. I think that. That's you know, gonna be plenty, probably. Yeah. Wait, wait, a, wait. How is the jury rig? I don't remember how it's done. The jury rig. Uh, it says, like, you can jury rig three times. I, that's like I can make a repair oh, once a day. Like the wrong guy here. What? Um, mechanical robot. She's jury rig. She can do it three times a day, and I, I, I. Oh, that's like. It's like sort of halfway fixing something, and then in a little while it could break down. Sure. Like, but I guess I'm making something new out of something. Let me see how it's determined how you do yeah. it, though. Yeah. There's no, what I was like, I got to look this up. Oh, computer. Sure, sure. All right. Sure. So this would be the. Who does the jury rigging originally? The pilot and the robot can do it because they both have technology. But it says, right. it says, can try a quick fix. One that once per day with the what? Oh, I could fix one to six hit points per level of starship. Oh, yeah. interesting. So I could actually try jury rigging the hull. Oh, oh well, anyway. Um, but it won't last but, that long. It wouldn't yeah, last an it, hour, right? In, yeah, after two to six rounds, it goes back to normal. But that's fine. With this thing, we're just trying to jury rig. Um, it says may also help understand other technology or security systems and may grant bonuses to manipulate it. I don't know. But anyway, mercenary pilot jury rig. Yeah, but but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create something that will attract this bug away from the ship. <laughs> okay, this is cool. There's no roll needed, right? Okay. So the only thing I could do is make a saving throw. Okay. For them to see if they're and their saving throws are really high. It's like an 18. Okay. Okay. So there's 16 of these spiders. All right. All right. So I'm going to do just to cover all the groups of four. Yeah. Does that sound decent? So yeah. four rolls. Would that yeah, seem about good? Yeah. That'll cover everything. Yeah, we're, just, we're, we're just trying to make something really attractive to them. To, okay. To go, let's see if they see if yeah. they fall for it. Right. Here's eight. Basically, 17 and below, they they're going to fall for it. One group of four fell for it. Another group of fell four fell for it. Another group of four fell for it. And 17 and below, they're all going to get on this thing because you shut oh, the cool. power down, right? So they're all right. on it. And right. you guys just going to push it slowly. Yeah, out yeah we're, we're just, we're, we're floating it down in space <laughs> and we're just going to awesome. let it, okay, let it cool. go. I like this. And um, Smarter, not harder, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. guys try to push it into the airlock. I guess the robot has to push. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if it would attack the robot. Well, what we want to do is put it in. Now that thing's lit up like a Madame Maru pinball machine. It's yeah. going after this. All right, let's go. So she's going to shove it, and then obviously open the airlock. Yeah. No one else would be there, right? Or no, right? Yeah, it's just going to be her. Okay, so she's going to give it a good old shove. Yeah. And let it go out into the winking dawn of space. Nice. Yep. Okay, so it it floats out. You see these all these spiders crawling all over this thing, ripping out stuff, trying to like utilize stuff for whatever reason, right? Yeah. And um. Yeah. And um, then right when it hits an hour mark, yeah, we're going to light everything up and okay. make that 12th jump. Cool. All right. So right when it hits an hour mark, uh, yeah, you're out there in um, – well, let's go back. Let's go back. So you're sitting out here. Yeah. And um, I'm going to show you kind of what this looks like, okay? So you have your, uh, yeah, you have your little, let's say body bag, your uh, sleep, sleep, the, the sleep pillow, or whatever. <laughs> say out here, it's out here floating, yeah. like spiders on it. And once you start lighting things up, uh, they all start coming your direction, all yeah, sixteen I, of them, right? Yeah, we we're hoping to get out before they get on our ship, but I don't know if okay, gonna okay, they're coming, mad dash towards you, okay. Right. So yeah, you're gonna have to fire this joker up at uh, a little bit of pressure, yeah. okay? Because you're trying to do this as quick as possible and still hit your target. Yeah. So who's my pilot? Who's my navigator? Yeah, Pepper. Okay, Pepper. Yeah. So let's make a roll here. Let's see how you do it. A one d six. A one d six. Got a four. I don't know okay, if that's good. Just do don't it. roll a one. Okay. okay, just make sure that you're not off target navigator, which would be the okay. The pilot was the one flying. Let's see what the uh, the I guess the robot would be navigating, would it not? Sure, yeah, oh, yeah, you could, yeah, we, we could, we could have, yeah, let's robot. make sure she drops you in the right area. 
All right. Okay. So I don't. I don't get... think she'd have a nerve problem. I don't think she'd have a problem with this. Oh no! Now nah, nah, that one, I rolled a six. Okay. She's... Well, yeah, she has no problem. She could drop you at your next spot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Boom. She. Uh. You guys take off. No problem. Oh, ship comes out at the last jump near Loganus Two. All that's left to do is to land at the research base and collect all your credits. But I got a feeling that we're not going to have a healthy uh, resp- um Some there have been so many people trying to sabotage this thing. All right. Um, There's a bunch of uh, let's say mining colonies on the planet. Yeah. Some are active, right? There's a uh, rundown enemies, you know, so different things like that. But it's just kind of like a really rough and tough. So there is what you're seeing there floating out in the front of that thing is the Elkerson Research Group Station. Okay. All right, so it's kind of calling you in. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna so, go uh, yeah, when you come in and you dock, there's yep. just a whole bunch of engineers that come swarming in, right? Mm-hmm. All excited. They they look at the asteroid pummels, yeah. right? And they can see that you're down quite a bit. They see the yes. scorched hole yeah. and stuff, right? Uh, so uh, one of the people come walking up, a very attractive woman, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, named Danica Culp. She's the head of the research facility, right? Um, she has an aide. She shows you up to where your rooms. So you guys go get freshened up. Nice. Go get cleaned up. I guess she'll take all your gear with you, right? Yeah. yeah. Get you a bite to eat and stuff like that. They would actually uh, debrief you on what happened on your journey. Sure. Right. So, okay, they sit down with you to have the discussion, and they kind of want to know um, what all happened, any kind of um, issues along the way. How did the drive, the super hyper jump drive, work, and all this? Uh, how would you, how would you like to divulge your information here? Oh, sure. Um, okay, so um, first and foremost, ship flies incredibly well, just absolutely tremendously well. Um, like the touches, I liked um, the leather seating, the comfort seating. Um, the only complaint we had was the size of the ice in the ice machine. We we like them a little bit smaller, not the big chunks that you got. You know, <laughs> a little a little smaller ice would have been great. But beyond that, um, let's see things that concerned us. Um, well, finding the bomb on the ship that was concerning um the um six mercenaries that tried to kill us um and we showed them the fingers and we we said we want to get these scanned and identified you know who these mercenaries were um she goes wait who where where are these things right now these fingers oh the bo- oh pepper pulls up in his bag um, but um, oh, but, um, <laughs> right, but um, right in the boardroom. Here you yeah, go. Right, yeah, right in the boardroom. I just I, I sprang the camera. I said, but the bodies were are in um room J. Um, no, we've already yeah we've located the bodies. We assume something went horribly wrong. They were there actually, was absolutely no ID on any of these men. Or well, that's we why know. we that's why we got the fingers so we can scan their fingerprints and see if we can identify them. Okay. But, you know, anyway, um, but. They were apparently were hiding in the ship the whole time underneath the cargo hold, which that's a little concerning. Um, let's see, let's see what else um, was concerning about all of this. Um, somebody um, hired a couple um, pirates or a pirate, um, lovely gentleman by the name of Hans, um, to uh, kill us and well tear apart the ship. Um, they intercepted us. They knew where we were going. So all the um, engineers now are kind of like looking around a little bit and they're trying to, uh, they're, they're very appalled. If you were to read the room as it was, yeah. they just cannot believe all this happened because they, Selenix and Elkerson just started merging together Yeah, and they were, um, there was like an IPO buyout and they were trying to like really increase their stocks by doing some kind of joint mm-hmm. venture with Selenix. And now they're seeing like all this travesty it's like one thing yeah. after another and really kind of confused and, and danica she's sitting there for a second she says i we have to get to the bottom this this is too much to take in you're saying there was a bomb planted on the ship and then you're saying that well who did you tell talk to about the bomb um you didn't talk to anybody in our group salonix emeron 
and his two everybody guys, you see this back and forth look everybody in the whole group starts looking back and forth at each other when yeah. you said that you mean you know i mean Salnex emerald you you're talking about the head of the company he at least he said he was the gentleman that hired us um, was there anybody else or was it just him we just talked to him because he was the head honcho and he brought in two engineers and they took they and they and they helped us dismantle the bomb with uh hope here um but I, you but know, did he did he not so he didn't hey, they didn't tell anybody else that lady we were asked to fly the ship from there to here we did that he said we would get six thousand credits and we were hoping to build a good but he's not even paying for this we're paying for it, our group have you Danica, have you ever have you ever tried joining a new troop? You know, like you're you're, you're a, new, a new acting troop. You don't want to be a problem. You don't want to say no to anything. So, so okay. I'm just saying, like, okay, so the contract you sign, yeah, if you remember, right, yeah, and the waiver agreement, everything like that, the actual signing of all this stuff was 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 with uh, Elksren. Right, I mean, it's with okay. us, so I don't understand why he was so involved. Uh, he makes the ship, we, we make the hyper jump drive, it's all about us as far as that part of the negotiation. So it's really confused. I don't know why he's so involved in this. And the second I thing was is just, that I was just paid to, to fly it from here to here, here to there. Um, I just I, well, we will definitely pay you guys the 2,000 credits you're due. I mean, obviously, that leaves you 500 credits a person. Which is a good deal. Um, we were told six thousand. Well, the deal that you have written and you signed a contract was for two thousand credits for the whole trip. That's we didn't make a deal with you. Well, I don't know who you made a deal with, but it wasn't with us. So we need to see Salmonex for another four thousand. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, we could easily transport you back to the the beginning of all this, but. Based on the jump drives you just uh, the jumps you've made, it's going to take you at least two weeks. Obviously, it's a twelve-hour journey in this ship, which ends up being two weeks on a normal faster than light drive. Um, and so what you're telling me is that nobody here hired the pirates to jump us. No, why would we hire pirates? We got an invested interest in this drive. Well, somebody else has an interest in, in that in that drive. Well, I, this is a very awkward situation. I, I don't know what to tell you other than the yeah. fact that I I guess I feel your pain. I mean, I, I don't want to. I mean, I tell you what, we'll give you a nice fancy dinner tonight. And we'll definitely make sure you have 500 credits per person on your card. And we All could right. probably give you a per diem for one night for an extra 30 credits, but and I'm, then, s I'm sorry that you've been misled and lied to. And you're going to send us and then, and you're going to transport us back to, um, case on 17. Yes, we will. We will take you there. I am so sorry that you've been, someone has, and I, I, if we have another thing like this in the future, we will definitely be calling you and we will try to make right on it. I had no idea that this was, there was this much sabotage going on. Well, you know, it's, we're used to people trying to kill us. We're just not used to people trying to kill us that we're working for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I understand. All right. So, so, so basically, just kind of sum this whole thing up. She yeah. takes you up. She has really beautiful rooms. You yeah. guys are sitting there. She takes you out of the town. Yeah. Um, she shows you the best that the uh, more mm. mining facility has to <laughs> yes, offer, which offer. is not that much, right? right. And uh, she sets you guys up. Uh, she does turn around and put you on a shuttle that's going to take you back to Case on 17. Right. And then the process, you're kind of like listening. Obviously, it's gnawing on the back of your head, right? Right. Yeah. Um, that it doesn't make 
it doesn't make much sense what's going on. Um, right. But what are you gonna do? All right? mm -hmm. So uh, it's kind of like one of those things. And the guy in the shuttle starts, you know, he's sitting there listening to you guys, and obviously it's a long two week journey. So yeah, he's just driving you guys by himself. It's kind of like you know, he's like listening to your story and the whole thing. He says, "So you guys just do jobs for fun?" Well, we we were trying to do jobs for a little bit of money. Uh, we, we eventually want to get our own ship, but, um, we just got screwed out of 4,000 credits. Yeah. Well, that sometimes happens. I tell you what, I know a guy who might help you out. Is his name Hans? No, not Hans, <laughs> but they, um, it's a moving company, transport stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's, I mean, obviously guys could fly a ship. They're yeah. always looking for pilots to transport stuff. Yeah. yeah um, his like name's a... Gabe. Gabe. All right. Yeah. You need to talk to Gabe. He's, uh, I tell you, go back to case in 17. He'll set you up. Right. And um, you tell him Smitty told you to, told you to, uh, you know, you guys, Looks like you guys went through a whole lot, and then said so how how Gabe operates is that he needs to take something and deliver it somewhere. Yeah, and no matter what, over any obstacle, you seem the kind of guys that could do that. Oh, we we will deliver whatever we need to deliver. We will we will get it there. Okay, well, Smitty, might be a little dented ship, but so when we'll get close to case of seventeen. I'll wire up Smitty. All right. He'll come pick you up. Hey, I, he's a great guy, good friend of mine. And then he can set you. He's set you two on your next, uh, your next, your next collection to make some more money. How's that sound? That sounds really good. And if and Salmonex Emeron, he's still in case on seventeen. You think? Well, I don't know. He's a business. He's actually hard to get in touch with. I'm surprised you actually talked to him one on one. He insulates himself pretty good. Yeah. Well, Pepper's yeah. Pepper's starting to write his name on his little list. <laughs> he's got a list. He does, doesn't he? Oh, it's too funny. Hey, he's got, he's another guy we got screwed. I'm going to get that guy. Yeah. Yeah. You never, no. well, I mean, now and then you might see him up and about. Um, sometimes I, there's a really, really fancy resort that all these big wings go to. God, what is that place called? Elysian Fields Resort. Elysian Fields. Elysian Fields. If you want to run into him, that's someplace he might be. You understand? It's the top of the line. It's the and 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 that resort. It's it's on the other side of Case and Seventeen, I believe. Yeah. So if he's anywhere, if he screw around, that's where he would be. I mean, they got the space golf and all this other yeah. stuff. Yeah. So if you you know you talk space, hey, can uh, any deliveries have to go to Elysian Fields? And you might find something. I don't know. You I go pour, out there by yourself. Yeah, I pour uh, Smitty a little bit of the bourbon that uh, left. I said, this looks like the beginning of a good friendship, Smitty. I appreciate. Oh this. yeah, well yeah. You know what they say: one's too many, a hundred's not enough. So give me the bottle. Oh, you know, he starts like he's got to land this. He's got to land this vulture. All right. <laughs> All right, Mike. This was fun. nice. Was nice fun. sum them up here. You got everybody still alive. <laughs> yeah, and I know I didn't. I, I, med bed. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I know. That, I know that we didn't like go into a like, but, and I know there might have been something really cool about that ball. Yeah. I just. just I don't, don't know. trust me. You don't trust me, Mike. And that's a good thing. And I've been on one too many adventures with you. <laughs> Not, I mean, we didn't play it out. We don't know what would have happened. Uh, uh, yeah, it could have been. It could we don't have been know great. what would have happened. We don't. It could have know. been. Everybody could have been dead the second time. Well, I don't like, know what would happen. We would have. We have just, no idea what. There's a million ways that could have played. Yeah, it's back to the room. But you know where it is. You have it marked down. You could always return yeah. to it at some point. Yes, we got that marked down. We also <laughs> some, know where there's some. Someone else hasn't already taken the what? There's some space spiders. Yeah, well, I don't know. Um, well, we gave the coordinates to Han, so they they might jump over there too. That's true. Yeah, yeah I mean, might be another. <laughs> I mean, more things added to the collection. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Uh, well, uh, Mike, uh, yeah. I'm 
I'm glad it's your birthday. Yeah. You, you feel burped fun. today? Yeah. yeah. So at least you got to hang out with me. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. There you go. Good it's times. all good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was kind of fun. Which, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's sort of like one of those things. One of those it's a lot of fun. All right, but I but I don't get to keep this ship, obviously. Um, no, they, it's no. it's high tech, man. You can't high have that tech, ship. yeah. But you'll have yeah. another delivery ship. You you guys could deliver all day long. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. We'll call what, you space I'm... dominoes. <laughs> well, that would be. I mean, again, we could just get like a little light freighter, and we'll just start working it up. Hey, hey, maybe Smitty will take care of you. you we got to We got to start a business somehow. Yep. 